بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم رب راہلی صدری ویسلی عمری وحل الختم السانی یفقہ قولی مائی لاڈ ایکسپینڈ فار می مائی چیسٹ اینڈ ایز فار می مائی ٹاسک اینڈ ان ٹائی دا ناٹ فار مائی ٹنگ دیٹ دے می انڈرسٹینڈ مائی اسپیچ السلام علیکم آئی ویلکم یو آل ٹو ڈویژنل پبلک اسکول اینڈ انٹر کالج لاہور My name is Masuma Musa. Dear students of class 4, today we learn about a very important topic of science that is heat. The outline of this unit include what is matter, difference between heat and temperature, thermometer and at the end we do exercise of this unit. Now, what is matter? Everything that has weight and occupies space is called matter. It is made up of tiny invisible particles called atoms. Here in this picture you can see the three different states of matter, solid, liquid and gas. The small circles are representing particles. In case of solid, the particles are tightly arranged so they can only vibrate about their mean position. In case of liquid, there are small spaces present among the particles so they can slide over one another. In case of gas, there are large spaces among the particles as compared to liquid so they can collide with each other the difference between heat and temperature heat is the transfer or flow of thermal energy from a warmer object to a cooler object like in picture a you can see the warmth in hand is able to cool down the ice present in its palm the picture b clearly depicts the thermal energy present in the hot cup of tea is cooled down by putting milk in it temperature it is the measure of the average energy of particles that shows how hot or cold something is it does not depend upon the size of an object like in picture c the water present in glass and bucket has the same temperature while picture d shows the two variation in temperature this is because when you provide heat to a substance the movement of atoms become faster and the temperature rise while when you provide cold to a substance the movement of atom becomes slower and the temperature falls down now how you can measure temperature an instrument called a thermometer is used to measure temperature it is made of transparent glass where its one end called bulb contains a liquid mercury or alcohol the scale along the size of glass tube help us to measure temperature in degree celsius or in degree fahrenheit here in this picture you can see the two different thermometers centigrade and fahrenheit which is showing boiling point and freezing point of water the black substance that is present in the thermometer represents mercury or alcohol now when the air around the thermometer is warmer the liquid inside the thermometer expands and moves upward however when the air around the thermometer colder the liquid inside the thermometer contract and moves downward A temperature that is lower than 0 degree Celsius is written with a minus sign. Nothing can get colder than minus 273 degree Celsius. This temperature is called absolute zero. The reason is that all the atomic movement gets stopped at this point. The normal temperature for the human body is 37 degree Celsius or 98.7 degree Fahrenheit. This temperature stays same whether the day is very hot or very cold. It is because humans along with other mammals are warm blooded. Now here comes the exercise of this unit. Open your book page number 80. Number 1. Choose the correct answer. 1. Temperature is the average energy of particles. Number 2. Heat is the total energy of particles. Number 3. The flow of thermal energy from a warmer object to a cooler object is known as heat. Number 4. Any temperature on the Celsius scale which is lower than that of melting ice is written with a minus sign. Number 5. The normal human body temperature on the Celsius scale is 37 degrees Celsius. Number 2. Match the definition in column A with the correct term in column B. Number 1. The total energy of particles of a substance is heat. Number 2. The average energy of particles of a substance is temperature. Number 3. The flow of energy from a warmer object to a cooler object is thermal energy. Number 3. Fill in the blanks. The average energy of particles in a substance is called heat temperature. Number 
The total energy of particles in a substance is called heat. Number 3. The flow of thermal energy from a warmer object to a cooler object is known as heat. Number 4. The instrument which is used to measure temperature is called thermometer. Number 5. All matter is made up of tiny particles called atoms. Number 6. The normal human body temperature on the Celsius scale is 37 degrees Celsius. Number 7. The melting point of ice is 32 degree Fahrenheit and 0 degree Celsius. Number 8. The temperature at which pure water boils is 212 degree Fahrenheit and 100 degree Celsius. Number 9. A temperature that is lower than 0 degree Celsius is written with a minus sign. Number 10. Nothing can get colder than minus 273 degree Celsius and this is called absolute zero. Now here comes the question answers of this unit. Open to page number 81. Question number 1. Define the following terms. Heat and temperature. Answer. Heat is the transfer or flow of thermal energy from a warmer object to a cooler object. Temperature is the measure of the average energy of particles and measures how hot or cold something is. Question number 2. Which two scales are commonly used to measure temperature? Answer. The two scales to measure temperature are Celsius scale and Fahrenheit scale. Question number 3. Which instrument is used to measure temperature? Answer. The thermometer is used to measure temperature. Number 4. What happens to the liquid in a thermometer when air around it gets warmer or colder? Answer. When air around the thermometer gets warmer, the liquid inside the thermometer begins to expand and moves upward. Colder. When air around the thermometer gets colder, the liquid inside the thermometer begins to contract and moves downward. Thank you all students for listening. I hope you understood this unit. Remember, when you stop learning, you will stop growing. So read and learn this unit again and again to clear your concept and enjoy your holidays. Allah Hafiz.